he's really putting in the work here. Yeah. Lane, we don't need no blood grenades, and uh, I mean it. Uh, it will cost him a kill. Or will it? How do you feel? Oh, it won't. Kasane still picks it up, and Kasane gets himself on the board. Just enough damage for you to die. Okay, we'll speak about dying here. Ari, do they have just enough damage to get the kill onto the Batrider? Batrider trying to get himself away from this one. You've got the damage coming through from the Terror Blade. He will be able to pick it up with a reflection into that metal. And another Split Earth into the Lightning. In fact, it might just be another Lightning Bolt that gets the kill, though. Lesh, he doesn't actually have the mana to throw it out. So Bob has to play away. Has some regen coming through from the Shadow Strike as well. Now we'll go for that one point in the Blink. Oh, he's gonna go in. He's aggressive. Does he get the kill here? Yeah, Bryle underneath the tower. Oh, but we might go down to the tower shots. The fire. Is it gonna be enough to get the kill? It will be, but he might go down to the tower. And yeah, the furry fire. Build up right now for the faces void. Yeah. And Kasane again, the same play. They're going for him. They're gonna be able to get the rotation coming through now. Yeah, he is gonna be left alone. They know there's no relocate out now. Kasane, he's gonna go down. No Fiend's Gate to get it's him. It's just not that easy of a target if a target at all. No, and you can see the, I mean, the Terror Blade even rotates in behind now. They're going to try and come in. The TP comes out from Bryle. He's in the smoke. They're looking for this. They might be able to get Smato. He's going to get low. The Fiend's Gate comes out as well. And Tino has to run himself away. The opposite way was a split earth. They have dead. the damage with the Lightning Bolt. Yeah, Tino's going to go down. Really nice kill. Oh, DC Palos. But do they want to commit for this one? Did he go for the time walk up the cliff? Maybe. No Chronosphere, though. They see him. They know where he is. They know he Nowhere wasn't able to, to get himself out in time for the three, for the Twin Gate, excuse me. And yeah, Palos trying to run himself away, but one more time walk forward in two seconds. Should be able to get the slowdown. Pops that reflection, but the time walk comes forward once again. Body blocks onto Palos. Palos shouldn't be able to get himself across the bridge to safety. He is going to go down to Kasane. He gets some revenge for going down three times already in this game. He might not even be done yet. They get the last one. They get the drive on Shanks and Shanks. He should be straight up dead. Yeah, yeah, Palos Let's ran. Get the damage out and get this That's kill nice. onto Kasane. Kasane is alone. Well, you say that, but there is a twin gate in Ari. He's waiting to spring this trap. Or oh, maybe yeah, he's, he's going to be left away. alone. <laughs> okay. Kasane. Flame break comes out. Really nice pit of mass there as well. Where's the rotation coming through? You can see that the face is void. He wants to come through. The Fiends here is even going to be dropped now as well. Tomorrow, though, he's looking for that Chrome Sphere. Where's he going to be able to? Who's going to be able to go on to get the catch out? Time dilation gets used. They get the kill onto Kasane, the last one. They got the lockdown. Tomorrow, he might be able to set up. They do. They get the kill onto Palos. And now he still holds that Chrome Sphere onto Abank. Abank trying to run himself away from this one. It's going to be two for the price of one here. TSM once again taking a really good fight. They break that 10 kill fight. Good game. So he doesn't have that much in terms of aura. And that's definitely gonna help. Oh, that illusion got lassoed. It got absolutely <laughs> demolished. <laughs> well, they should still be able to get the fill there. Yeah, yeah the, the Fiend's Gate into the pit of Malice here from Kasane. And once again, Palos in. Ari's closing the gap. Has that lasso up now. If you find the real one, in fact, they're gonna try and go onto Bob, but Bob the cookie comes out. They might be able to get the kill onto the Bat Rider. They do. They take him down. Kasane, he drops that Fiend's Gate, but it's gonna be a good Chronosphere. He doesn't actually drop it just yet. Nope. Palos, now the Chronosphere comes out, but do they have the damage to get the kill onto the Terror Blade? The Terror Blade, again, he's gonna have that Sunder if he needs it. And it looks like Faces Void, he changes targets onto, they get the kill onto Tino. And now can they go back? The Sunder comes out, but immediately Braille, he's gonna be healed right back up to pretty much full health. And he can carry on no going matter, though. Palos, he has to run himself away. You have the Wisp coming right back in. Tomato trying to do what he can with the right clicks. And he's just trying to get these heals off, but Abeng, he's gonna be in the front of the fight and really not where he wants to be. They have no damage. Here. The chase comes out. They should be able to get the kill onto him. And yeah, the engine's going to go down. Bob has to bring himself away. And now the Metamorphosis comes out from the Terror Blade. But the Split Earth, they get the kill. The chase down onto Shanks. This is going to be a four for one. It looks like now the chase down, the damage, and they get another kill on the board. 7,000 damage, but it doesn't matter because it's not burst damage. And versus the Wisp, it's just not going to be enough. They're going to be able to get a kill onto Bob in the mid lane now as well. And Bob, he was low health. Bryle with the, like you say, just be able to get himself in with the Yules into the Split Earth. Lanya coming out now. Is Lanya? Yeah. Lasso, they've got the lockdown here onto Timo. Did he have enough to get the kill now? It's, it looks like Timo's trying to run himself away from this one. He is flapping though. He is straight up dead. Really nice kill. They're even going to be able to get themselves a wisdom. And anyways though, TSM, it's, it's looking very easy for them. Now they can just run around the map and kill everybody. And if you look at Execration, the last thing that they're hoping for right now, and I think what they're talking about is, let's get the Scotty on the Terrorblade to reduce that. Seems like a lot of control coming out. Speaking of control, they control out the Queen of Pain. They get another kill on the board. So now it really is one kill a minute here for TSM. The last zone now as well. They've got the lockdown. They feel, find the real Terrorblade. Ash? Palos. Yeah. Should have dead. Really nice control for TSM. 
is on the uh, on the visage. I'm not going to be able to make another dive in. Yeah, back lines. You see the familiars. Ari, he's got that blink dagger up in 12. He already used it. Went to the wrong camp, though. But Ryle, he is so fast. He have to use these familiar dives here. Fiendscape comes out. Tino, he's just trying to run away from everything. And TSM is just like, nope, nope. We are definitely getting this kill here, Tino. Is he going to away from this one? There's going to be the dive forward. Hot forward from the cookie. And Tino, he pops that pipe. The split earth comes out. Though. They've got the control. They've got the kill, at least, onto the visage. Oh, they brought more heroes. They want to die together. Yeah, Shanks, he's going to go down, trying to save out. And now Abeng as well. Being chased down by Tamara. The blink comes forward. Ari, do they have the damage? Do they have that bash? Do they have the second bash? Where's that third one? Where's that final one for the kill? Abeng, time walk comes forward. Tamara gets another kill on the sink every minute. Yeah, and 16k at 26 and a half minutes in here. TSM. They've not given up control once. It doesn't seem like from the word go, they were always ready to fight. Kastani did die. I mean, how many deaths is the Underlord on? As they might be able to get themselves another kill. Abeng being caught out once again. Firestorm going to be thrown out with a Firefly coming. And these nature's attendants, four points in these. But Abeng, can he really get himself away? They're holding this lasso. It looks like it's only a matter of time. Abeng just trying to waste as much time as possible before he does go down. Kasane, slow down. Do they get the kill though? Drums will be popped. And yeah, they should be able to. I say should, but Firestorm gets dropped. The neutrals get involved as well. Kasane still gets the kill. They can't hit him. That's the thing. He's untouchable, <laughs> so he can't die. But that's a nice roast, you know. The way uh, if you want a nice roast on your meat, you need to be cooking it for a long time, you know, just to simmer there. And hammer smashing heads, that, that's the type. Okay, right. fair enough, fair enough. Um, but yeah, TSM going to be able to get one lane of racks out pretty much for free here. And they're not stopping yet. They want another tier 3 tower. Whether the backdoor uh, procs in time to save this lane. Nope, there's going to be the dive in. They got the lasso. They have the lockdown. They probably, they will have the kill on the edge. Yep, uh, Execration, that was your chance to fight uh, 5 versus 5 for this lane of racks. Now you're going to have to do it 5 versus 4. There are creeps coming in, so that Queen of Pain cutting the wave in the mid lane, it won't make any difference. Yeah, there's going to be the BKB coming out from Tamaro. It doesn't make a jump here, holds that Chronosphere, but it should still be at least... Oh, no, okay, they're going to back themselves away. They might actually try and go for Bob here. He is still cutting the wave. They back themselves away. It's only going to be an illusion that they catch with the Queen of Pain. Now, the real one, they're trying to go for Ari. Ari can get himself away. Crimson Guard will be popped. Sonic Wave, though. Ari, he's still alive. The Chrono, he catches it off the two. So they get themselves the Queen of Pain as well as the Terrible. The Queen of Pain's going to go down. Surely, the BKB, confirm your kills. And Pryle will be able to get it now. Pyrak comes out from Ari. They want to get themselves right back into this one. Pylos, though, trying to do the kill with a reflection. A lot of damage tomorrow. He's going to be able to get the time walk away. And it looks like he might try and disengage on the side of TSM. Sonic, he might be the sacrifice. Official lamp. No, nope. while he comes back in, does he want to help out his teammate? Nice. It's going to be the relocate out. The uh, face is what you think about jumping in. Actually, Bob could have survived there, but they allowed him. They didn't actually attack him, so I think he wasn't expecting to be surviving. He could have blinked out, so he didn't really need the buyback. They found the last one. They found the lockdown. They find the kill onto no, Palos, and Palos is dead. Yeah, 50 seconds here without your Terra Blade, and it looks like TSM. They just want to run down Execration. They're going to go onto Tino. They're going to be able to get a kill onto the Visage. They're going to be able to go for... Do they even bother with Magus? It looks like they might just try... Um, I mean, they're going to have to buy back on their Visage. <laughs> they don't have a... Uh... Okay, they're nope. just going to call GG. Uh, I mean... The game is unwinnable at this point. The only thing is, do you want to uh, fight at the very end? And I have to say, I am disappointed. South Southeast Asia teams, usually they wait for themselves to get knocked out. They never uh, raise the white flag, but...